the boring company has made progress at one of the Las Vegas uh, LVCC loop stations show the photos shared by Clark County and we're going to take a closer look at the boring company's LVCC loop station in Las Vegas. Welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from talknews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the notification bell for daily um, uh, so you don't miss my next uh, Tesla or EV cover. Maria Merano is reporting from teslaradi.com uh, on the Clark County, Nevada's recent pictures saying uh, and taking a closer look at uh, uh, the boring company's progress in Las Vegas saying Clark County, Nevada shared some pictures of the boring company's Las Vegas Convention Center LVCC loop project. The photo showed the progress uh, the boring company has made at one of the Las Vegas Vegas uh, Convention Center loop stations where a stream of Convention Center guests will come and go once Elon Musk's people mover is operational. According to Clark County, Nevada, the LVCC loop station in the pictures is located in front of the original Convention Center buildings on Paradise Road live uh, footage of the boring company's three LVCC loop stations have depicted the progress it has made over the past year. Uh, Las Vegas, uh, Clark County, Nevada tweet uh, says the entrances and exit to the Las Vegas underground people movers are taking shape. This is one of the station of the front of the original convention center buildings on Paradise Road. The tunnels will take people to and from the almost finished expansion on the strip. Um, I haven't been in Las Vegas but you know I was surprised to see a paradise road in Las Vegas because you know we always hear is it a sin city sin city and now there is a road to paradise I guess so in another tweet uh, the Clark County Nevada says Clark County commissioners have also approved licenses and maintenance agreements for the boring company to build tunnel connecting the Las Vegas Convention Center to Encore Las Vegas and Resorts World Vegas. So new projects are uh, approved for Las Vegas uh, uh, in uh, by the uh, for the boring company. The most telling footage would be the constant flow of Tesla vehicles coming in and out of the Las Vegas uh, LVCC loop stations. The boring company started ramping vehicle testing for the LVCC loop last month and uh, all rides along the LVCC loop will be free of charge as per the Boring Company's agreement with Tesla, Las Vegas Convention and Visitor Authority Board. Uh, the board plans to generate uh, revenue from the Convention Center loop through advertisements, sponsorships and facility rentals. The LVCVA board also agreed to pay the company $167,000 per month to manage and operate the LVCC loop. So good revenue is coming to um, the Boring Company. So the, the a video of Boring Company's vehicle at that time testing in the LVCC loop simulates how the people mover will function once it uh, it's operational. It gives onlookers an idea about how people will get in and out of the Tesla cars from both sides of the vehicles. Um, based on images and videos of LVCC Loop Station 3, there were also uh, at least 10 Tesla vehicles navigating the tunnel system and testing it uh, out. The Boring Company, uh, its LVCC Loop and the Vegas Loop have received tremendous support from the city. Just last week, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, uh, actually no, this was not last week, I'm sorry, this was in January, about January 12th or so. Um, uh, the received, uh, um, I'm sorry, I lost my place. Uh, so Las Vegas at that time, Las Vegas Convention and Visitor Authority Board agreed to pay the boring company up to $6.5 million to operate and manage the LVCC loop from February 1, 2021 to June 
30th, 2022. The Boring Company will not charge fares, like I said, for rides on the LVCC loop. The LVCVA plans to generate income from tunnels at the Las Vegas Convention Center through advertising, sponsorship, and facility rentals. Uh, Elon Musk's tunneling company will also be working on another project in Las Vegas called Vegas Loop Vehicle received anonymous approval by the Las Vegas City Council. Um, I think it was in uh, in December of 2020 when it got approval. Las Vegas Loop will reach further into the city, transport uh, people to various entertainment and leisure destinations. So the Boring Company has begun laying the groundwork for uh, another project in Las Vegas called the Vegas Loop, which will run through various destination spots in Las Vegas, the Strip and the Resort Corridor. Clark County, Nevada announced that it has approved licenses and maintenance agreements for the Boring Company to build more tunnels connecting the Las Vegas Convention Center to the Encore Resort Campus and Resorts World. The tunnels will likely connect the LVCC Loop and Vegas Loop. Well, friends, uh, let me know what you think about these developments, about how excited you are for this type of transportation. Uh, you know, some people don't like the traveling uh, in cities through tunnels. They prefer uh, traveling in light. So I don't know how many people will use this, but it's going to give everyone speed and uh, Las Vegas Loop uh, could be a good testing for the future. I mean, uh, we like lights, we like daylights and uh, like traveling by train, but uh, this is going to be a lot of underground travels if this picks up. But, you know, if it's going to be helpful for um, our transportation and mobility i think it will be great to do something about growing traffic however i'm personally thinking that once robot taxis and uh, car sharing really pick up in major cities uh, like for example car sharing has already picked up at some point uh, to to some level in some of the european uh, cities uh, like i was in berlin a year and a half ago and i saw the government was encouraging people to give up their cars and giving them even money for that to use car sharing and public transportation and bicycles and uh, i think uh, only 30 percent of people who live in berlin the residents of berlin had cars and it's a big city, but I didn't see any traffic during rush hours. At least, at least I didn't see, which was great. And I think if the robo taxis um, and car sharing picks up when the full self driving by Tesla comes, we will probably see a lot of cars. Um, uh, the numbers of a lot of cars in our streets uh, falling because there will not be a need for that and things will be more effective and as a result we may not need to have that many cars and go under tunnels and but have uh, above the ground transportation but still things with boring companies lvcc loop station look exciting interesting and something innovating let's see how it's going to work then please let me know your thoughts in comment section below if this report was useful please share in social media like it uh, that would help me very much and have a wonderful day please subscribe to our channel join our community in the discussions and this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in our next report god bless you everyone peace be with all of you see you soon